today we're going to be making another switch panel for the Mustang. Uh, this is the old one. Uh, I made this, I think, about a year ago. Put the video link right there. But, uh, had a hole for a gauge in it. I no longer need that. And so I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. We have a piece of aluminum right here. And we're just going to measure up a piece that'll fit in the where the radio used to sit and we're gonna cut it out so that's where we'll pick up alright guys so we got our aluminum marked right here and right here for the width um, you can pretty much use whatever material you want to use you can use metal uh, aluminum ABS plastic uh, whatever you wanna use um, we're gonna use a square to make sure these are square, they're nice 90 degree lines. You don't want to get it all crooked because it'll look kind of sloppy. You want to go a little longer and a little wider than you need so it's not too small and you can always shave it down later. Alright guys, so we just measured the length, you got it right here. So there's our marks, so now we're going to go and get it cut. Alright guys, so I just got this piece cut out. Um, I hit down the sharp edges real quick. Now we're going to see if it's straight. So we're looking pretty straight. Uh, we're going to go test fit it in the car and see how it does. You guys, uh, it's kind of a mess in here, doing some wiring, but uh, stuck her in there. Uh, there's a little bit of gap on top and bottom, so we're going to have to bring the sides in. So I'll probably take it in like a sixteenth or an eighth, see what that does, and we'll stick her back in here. The edges down on this uh, plate, about, let's say a tenth of an inch. And uh, she seats all the way in there, all the way to the back. So I think it's pretty good. There's no no more gaps. So next we're probably going to uh, draw some lines on there to center some holes and drill some holes. All right, guys, real quick, uh, I just got my first line in. That's the center. Um, if your widths are a little different. From here to here, say this is like a tenth off or a fifth off, you need to measure whatever end, say this end, and then divide it by two, and then measure this end and divide it by two. That'll put the line exactly in the middle of this piece, even though it may be a little wider at one end. Alright guys, so here's what I came up with. Um, so you didn't really, I didn't really have to draw these lines vertical, but for demonstrational purposes, I wanted to show where the points are that I will be drilling out for switches. So now we're going to go do a little pilot drill to make sure it's in the center, and then go do our, the final hole size for the switch to go into. is all right guys so now I'm just gonna hit it with some some Rustoyam enamel it's a little chilly out here so let's see how this stuff does <laughs> 